What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, John Merced32, a.k.a. Willie Lang Lang. Okay, I want to talk to you guys about this whole WWE situation. Um, I understand a lot of people are mad that, it, you know, it's principal they sold to Saudi Arabia. Meaning, like, let's say me and you have an agreement, and I'm like, okay, well, I agree to buy your car. I'll buy your car. Um, you know, it's, I agree to buy the car, but you still officially have the car. I need to get the money. We got to go get the, the registration sticker at the cursory chain. We got to go through all this stuff. But, you know, in principle, I agree to buy your car. Same thing what's going on here. It's not officially sold to Saudi Arabia. Um, um, it's m most of their government owns this company, but it's a Saudi Arabia business something. So, I mean, they're not all oh, the Prince of Saudi Arabia is buying it. It's it's their money. It's them. But they got a little name for them. Um, before you guys start getting all crazy and stuff, and before I get into my opinion and all that, note this. The Saudi Arabia government also bought a European football league team, Newcastle something. And this was a huge deal. Huge deal. Because, you know, here in America... You know, nothing against soccer, nothing against soccer, but I don't give a fuck about soccer. No one really gives a fuck about soccer, but nothing against the sport. It's just that's not what we do here. I mean, I know we got a team. I know, but, you know, but anyway, so they bought this team. So everybody was going all crazy, like, oh, my God, now it's over with. And, but instead of them running the team, they got an outside firm and everything to where they're running the team. So, I mean, it's still their team. They still, with a major, huge decision, they still got to go to them. But nothing has changed. No one lost their job. The place is still running like it ran. No difference, no nothing. So, with that said, for those WWE stands out there that just are so hurt right now, even if it does go through, and a Saudi Arabia business group, I think they're called, Saudi Arabia business group, which is the Saudi Arabia government. Um, I wouldn't be too concerned. They're probably going to have nothing to do with day-to-day -day operation, nothing. But, but, this is the reason why Vince McMahon came back. Even though they're not going to have nothing to do with day-to-day -day operations, they brought Vince back because they want him to run day-to-day -day operations. This is what's going on. That's why he came back so quick and all this is happening. Because, I mean, think about it. He made a deal with Saudi Arabia with the prince and all that to bring the Crown Jewel premium live events, which is basically pay-per-view, but premium live event. And um, so they got a good relationship with Vince McMahon. So with him running the show. And then another thing is it's Saudi Arabia. And yes, they're making progress with women and the LGBT plus um, community, but they're still bad. They are still not close to what it should be. So Stephanie McMahon was co-CEO. That's not going to fly out there. Um, maybe someone in the comments, you hear that? Shh, I got a gap too, so it makes that noise. But anyway, whenever I do it and my wife's around me, she always goes, shh, 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 because she heard it. But anyway, anyway, um, was Stephanie coming in as co-CEO, a woman, and they own the company? No, Saudi Arabia don't play that shit. So Vince had to come in and lock it down, and he's running it. And now uh, that might be something that people hurt, because I'm a wrestling fan. I love wrestling. And I fell in love with AEW. I think AEW is freaking awesome. Yeah, they got their bad things they do, but people forget they're still a three-year-old company. And I know they go, oh, they're still three-year-old. What's going to be? Well, they're still 10-year-old. Dude, you can't compare AEW to WWE. It's like comparing uh, fucking a Filet Mignon to a sub from Subway. I mean, they're both good, but one is just, you know, WWE's on another level. They're established. They've been around. So you can't even do no comparison. But I didn't want to get on that. This, this video is not about AEW against WWE. I'm just saying I'm an AEW fan. And I love wrestling, so I watch WWE. But when Vince was running it, oh, my God, come on, people. It wasn't that long ago when Vince was running it. 
how many times did we see the street prophets versus the the Viking Raiders? How many freaking times did we see that match? Come on, or or um, or the Usos versus the New Day, which brilliant matches, but how many times or or Randy Orton and Bro against AJ Styles? I mean the same matches. Oh, it was. I remember four weeks in a row we had Charlotte Flair versus that Nikki girl, crazy Nick. It when she was almost superhero. Oh my God, the booking! When you you got all that talent, and every week the same match. I lost it at that time. I said no, I can't watch this shit. Now that Vince McMahon, I mean now that Triple H took over when Vince McMahon. And don't say retire. He did not retire. He was, what is it called? Um, he had to leave disgracefully because of what he did. You know, now I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to make another video about that, um, about him and the sexual abuse charge. That's going to be a whole other video that's off the subject. But anyway, he needed to be back. And Triple H running it, I came back and started watching it. Because he runs it beautiful. So I loved watching my, you know, Monday Raw, then Wednesday my Dynamite, then Friday SmackDown and Rampage. I loved it. I loved it. But now that Vince is back, he's definitely going to take over control and do the match. Because that's what Saudi Arabia wants. If they buy it, this is guaranteed. And, um, you know, I don't know if Triple H will stay for that. I mean, Triple H is a loyal guy. He's not going to leave and then go back to, you know, go to AEW. You know, he'll just retire with his wife. They got money. So now that that's all out the way. My opinion on this is, you know, I get people are mad because it's Saudi Arabia and they don't treat women and uh, and the gay community, transgender, everything. They don't treat them equal there. I get that. And that's that's not right. You could be whatever you want and you should be able to feel safe and you should be able to, that has not, that's messed up. And, but the Saudi Arabia company, government, whatever they're called, Saudi Arabia investors, they've proven to buy Western teams like the Saudi or like the, like the Newcastle soccer team, what they call it football in Europe. Um, they're not messing nothing up. It's still the same day-to-day -day operation, still the same. So, you know, I'm not nervous that they're going to change everything at WWE, that everything's just going to be, oh my God, oh my God. No, no. If they do buy it and it goes through, you ain't got to worry about, you know, it's going to be fine. And they're going to have money. You know, Tony Khan got money. This is the Saudi Arabia government. They got, they got money. So free agents, my ass, they going they could buy anybody. So, you know, like I said, you know, I'm a W I'm a AEW diehard, but I do watch WWE because of Triple H and his him his match making. Um, I'm still gonna be there as a fan. And, you know, once Vince once Vince McMahon starts um doing the matches again and stuff, if he goes back to the same matches every weekend then I'm just going to stick with AEW. And I know there's a lot of you WWE fans out there that maybe watched one Dynamite and all oh, that show suck. Man, you got to be out your damn mind. Especially yesterday's, what was it, January 10th, 11th, Wednesday. Man, that if they started off with Hangman Page versus John Moxley and it went clean, no, Nobody jumping in and no, a clean wrestling match and Hangman won fair. Beautiful. I love AEW and I'm telling you, WWE stands. You don't go watching it like, oh, I fucking hate them. No, go enjoy, man. It's wrestling. All the shit WWE did, there's nothing on AEW that you could say is corny or this and that. We're talking about against WWE and Vince McMahon booking the last year or so. Stop it. So anyway, that's my opinion on it. Just a little something for my two cents. I'm a nobody. I'm no one special, but I am a diehard wrestling fan. I'm a 21-year-old man. I've been watching wrestling for 28 years. 
<laughs> so, you know, y'all take care and be making a lot more videos. God bless. Peace.